urutan. Yes. Um, yes. Uh, welcome to Wedza. Uh, welcome to Zimbabwe. Welcome to uh, Machuna in East uh, Province. And uh, we are seeing an early crop, an early crop, winter crop uh, already here or on maize. And um, interestingly, we are looking at this tree. It's, it's a weed. Actually, it's a weed example, but actually it's also good. Uh, our, 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 it's our traditional food. We've been eating this for centuries. And so they leave this part. They won't need to weed it. They leave it with the maize as well. They call it this Nyeve. Nyeve. Come with the camera and then we'll film it very close showing the how it looks like um there we are wow. so it's um it's a uh, it, it, it's eaten uh it, it in terms of, it's got like a bitter taste it has it's eaten this this plant has been eaten for centuries very good makes you very strong very healthy and um it's not grown commercially but it's left with with the plants and then they test um then they cook it as a relish very good it's called nyeve um, there's got its other uh, biological name which I'm not aware of um, but it does very well in these communities they keep it so they are self-sufficient that is what our point in um, they're learning to to um, to grow crops and be self-sufficient the cost of living is high and they need to survive only on the on the land so uh, crop rotation um, and also using sustainable way of, of growing things is actually helping them so the, the cost of fertilizer has not affected them. They're using uh, leaves as manure. And they've grown, they've moved forward, and now they're moving into other crops they've not been doing, kesho and pistachios. And they're aiming at five hectares each, five hectares each, um, to, to, do, to grow that. And in a, maybe three, four years, they'll be able to get the first crop. But we're seeing onions, we're seeing okra, we're seeing potatoes, we're seeing... Um, watermelons we're seeing um uh, uh what other crops have you seen again we've seen uh, beans so it's quite a variety so they're able to put all those varieties and, and sweet potatoes as well so they're, they're able to put uh, crops in an early crop and then able to 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 rotate them to achieve more yield and um this is the way forward for the rural community that i think is a good thing and they're self-sufficient and they, they're looking forward not to feed themselves but they want to feed America and Europe. They just need an advocate to open a market for them. So if there are advocates out there that realize that um, food can come from rural Zimbabwe, can go into their shops, 